In this question, water is draining from a cone-shaped funnel at a rate of 500 centimeters cubed per minute. The cone has a base radius of 20 centimeters and a height of 100 centimeters. Let h centimeters be the depth of water in the funnel at time t minutes. The rate of decrease of h in centimeters per minute is given by one of these. So you have to find the rate of decrease of h and that is a dh dt so because this is height per time that's going to be dh dt and that's what you're trying to find so the first step really from here is well there's two things to do find the related rates formula and also draw the funnel so i'll start by drawing the funnel like such and it has a radius of 20 and a height of 100 like that and it also says let h centimeters be the depth of water in the funnel at time t minutes so i need to set up an arbitrary water level in here with those two variables in it so there's the arbitrary water level with a radius of r and a height of h so the next thing to do is find the related rates equation. So dh dt is equal to, and a good way of doing this is to put the right thing on the top, first of all. So dh on that side and on this side put the dt, and then look at the other rate that you're given, which is this one here, which is a volume per time rate. So that's going to be dv dt, and that means this here has to be dv. So you know this quantity here or this rate and this one you have to figure out so what you need to do next to get dv dh is to get the volume of the cone and doing that so the volume is equal to pi r squared h on 3 and you can see that there's two variables here so you need to get r in terms of h because you want dv dh so the way to do that from the diagram here using this arbitrary water level is to set up similar triangles and the way to do that is just draw a vertical line from here to the apex of the cone like such and I'll pretend that's going right to the apex and because it's vertical and the base is at right angles to the height of the cone that means this is a right angle here this is a right angle here and these angles here that one and that one are the same and this angle here is common to both of those triangles so the thing to do at this point is to draw the triangles separately okay so there are the triangles this is the big one with a radius of 20 and a height of 100 and the smaller triangle with the radius r and a height h so to connect r and h all you do is start with this side the one that you want to replace in here with what it's equal to in terms of h are uh, over the side in this triangle that corresponds to it which is 20 so r over 20 is equal to h over its corresponding side 100 and then from there so when you set up this the, the sides on the top have to be from the same triangle and the sides on the bottom have to be from the big triangle this is one way of setting it up this is the way that I like to do it because what I tend to do is put small on top big on bottom like that and that way both of these are from the small triangle from the big triangle so from here multiplying both sides by 20 you end up with r equals 20h on 100 and then dividing both sides by or the top and the bottom by 20 you get r equals h over 5 and that's the connection between r and h now you can sub h on 5 for r into here and you end up with pi h on 5 squared times by h all over 3 and instead of putting it all over 3 like that what i like to do the 3 is going to be underneath the pi and the h so that's a good spot to put it under one of those so you get pi on 3 multiplied by h squared on 25 times by h which is really over 1 and then on the top you've got pi h cubed and then on the bottom you've got 75 times in 3 by 25 by 1 so that's v 
So next, dvdh is going to be equal to finding the derivative of that. So dvdh, so bring down the power and then pi h and then decrease that power by 1 and that will become 2 over 75 and then 3 into 75 goes 25 times. So that's pi h squared on 25. So therefore, dh dv is equal to 25 on pi h squared, just turning that upside down. And then from this formula, so coming down to here, dh dt is equal to dh dv, which is this one here, so 25 on pi h squared, multiplied by dv dt, which is this right here, 500 centimeters cubed per minute. So I'm just going to put 500, and that's over 1. And 5 times 25 is 125, adding the two zeros. And then on the bottom, pi h squared times 1 is pi h squared. So that's the rate that you're after, dh dt, and that, that is answer B. So key things you need to do in this kind of problem, you've got to recognize uh, that you have to get one variable in the formula that you're working with. And the way of doing that, you need to also recognize that you need to use similar triangles, which is quite often the way of doing it when you are doing a rates question involving a cone. It's not the only way of doing it. It really depends on the information that you're given. So that's how you do this question. And that's about it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next one.